Overton turns 112 tomorrow. Fox 7 Austin's Casey Claiborne sat down with the veteran to get his take on his birthday milestone. Well, I lay so long, and you have me on your knee in that door. you tell you. I wouldn't know. The day before Richard Overton's 112th birthday, he's doing what he loves. Sitting on the front porch of his East Austin home, smoking cigars and chatting with people. This time it's reporters, inviting to listen to some of his wisdom the day ahead of his big party. Ask me what you want me to know, and if I don't know it, I'll sing it to you. Well, that's a new one. Didn't realize Mr. Overton could carry it, too. I don't feel like singing, babe. He may not feel like singing, but Mr. Overton says he feels great. He's the nation's oldest veteran, and now believes to be the oldest man in America. Funny thing, I didn't know I was going to do that. I feel fine every day. No pain and no aches. A lot of people get up and die. I don't die yet. Though Mr. Overton says it has been a little bit hard to light his cigar recently due to some arthritis, he was keen to tell me what he loves about smoking it. It has a good taste for me. I don't inhale it. I just smoke it. Okay. Go to smoke it. Yeah, don't don't get down do you want to live old weed. And yes, he still drinks whiskey and still cracks jokes about it. I've done it all my life since I was 18 years old. It don't hurt you. You know how to drink it. But no, you drunk every 30 minutes. Overton was born near Bastrop in 1906 and served in the Army for three years during World War II. The American flag flies in his front yard. I think it's a good thing to be up there. Make the people stop, make the people think, make them see what they want, what I've done. Being the nation's oldest veteran has brought quite a few interesting guests to Mr. Overton's front porch, and it's put him in the national spotlight. His service on the battlefield was not always matched by the respect that he deserved at home, but this veteran held his head high. People would ask questions, how do you feel to meet President Obama? And Mr. Overton would say, he's just like a regular man. He don't get, you know, he puts his pants on just like I do. Mr. Overton, or Pop, means a lot to his longtime friend, Martin Wilford. Me personally, he's like my father. You know, Ms. Mr. Overton and I have been, I've been knowing him over 40 years. We used to work with Ann Richards together in the same department. And uh, he's more than a friend, like a parent, like my, like my pop. With 112 years under his belt, what's next for Mr. Overton? I want to be here too next year. You want to be here again? Yeah, after next after that one. And then after that, I like that. I want to be there. Yeah. I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Casey Claiborne, Fox 7 Austin News. He's got the will. He can definitely do it. Now, Overton built his home in the 1940s, and thankfully, as he has gotten older and older, he's been able to stay there. A couple of years ago, when the Overton family asked for help getting him home health care using GoFundMe, people from all over the country raised more than $230,000 for him. Also, Meals on Wheels and Home Depot recently upgraded Overton's home with whitened doorways, new wiring, and central heat and air. His friend Martin says that has really helped. 